We start our walk along Jalan Melaka, which is the road adjacent to the Masjid Jamik LRT station. There are quite a few small attractions around this area, and there are signposts and posters around the area to guide us. One of the key attractions would be the sculptures of the caricatures by Dato Lat. And from the information in the signboard, let's see if we can find the location of all these caricatures. Here are a few samples of the sculptures for us to enjoy. Depiction of two men finding time and a traditional Malaysian lady as well as visitors to the city being surprised by the beautiful sights and sounds. There's also a giant sepata craw ball in this area. We can then walk towards the Masjid Jamik LRT station. There are wall paintings and attractions. Masjid Jamik LRT station is an important connection point to many parts of the city. Along this area, we can also find the Masjid Jamik Mosque. This is one of the oldest mosques in Kuala Lumpur. There are strict dress codes and official visiting hours. On the outside, the outer courtyard, there is a water feature as well as big palm trees. It's a good area to take a short breather when walking around the area. From the outer courtyard, we can also read more information about the mosque and we can then slowly walk towards the Dataran Merdeka. Along the way, we will find the Masjid Jamik pedestrian bridge which connects Masjid Jamik to Dataran Merdeka. This is a beautiful bridge that we can take many photos of the surrounding area. As we walk around along above the bridge, we cross the Klang and Gombak River. And that is the Sultan Abdul Samad building. Definitely come here in the evening where the mist is turned on and towards the evening or later part of the evening there will be a beautiful blue light. And as we see around the area, that is the Sultan Abdul Samad building and this is how the evenings would look like. Let's walk towards the Sultan Abdul Samad building, which originally housed the British administration. It's a Moorish design with beautiful copper domes and the main clock tower along the Dataran Merdeka. This is one of the most photographed areas in the city so definitely an important place to visit now in front of the building there is the Tataran Merdeka where the declaration of independence was made in 1957 let's walk towards one end of the independence square here we will find St. Mary's Cathedral one of the oldest Anglican church in Kuala Lumpur. It's an active church and services are still being held. Now along the field there's also the Royal Selangor Club where the important people around the city can gather and on the other side, we see the tallest flagpole in Malaysia at a height of 95 meters. This is also a very photographed place.
Now as we walk towards the flagpole, you can see a picture of Tunku Abdul Rahman, our first Prime Minister. And as we walk closer, that picture is actually made out of small tiles. Along the area as well, we can actually see the Queen Victoria Fountain, an important attraction. And towards the other end, there is the Kuala Lumpur Library. And these are the official opening hours. Now just next to it will be the Kuala Lumpur City Gallery. This is a great place to learn about the history and attractions of Kuala Lumpur. At the moment of this video, the entrance is free. It closes on Tuesdays. Just outside, there is the I Love Kuala Lumpur sign, a great place for photos. Next, just opposite, there is the National Textile Museum. And here we can learn about all the traditional textiles. Now as we walk down, there is the Masjid Jamik Lookout Point, which many people call the River of Life. This is where the Klang River and Gombak River merge into the main Klang River. Here is a view of the Masjid Jamik. As we will walk along the edges of the river, we can see different views of Masjid Jamik. And towards the evening, the mist spray is turned on, making the whole area very ethereal looking. So definitely come visit here towards the evening time. So along the river as well, we can find murals and paintings on walls of buildings. A great place for photography. Here you can see the depiction of wildlife and nature and the bustlings of local life in the country. Just a short walk away would be the Dataran Medan Pasar Clock Tower. This is a historical site and a good place for photos. Just opposite, there is a small attraction called the Brain Project. It's basically a depiction of the interconnections of a human brain it's a good place to just take a photo now from here we can walk towards central market and we first reach the annex building which is at the end of the central market here we can see many tourists local uh, artists basically showing off their skills of art and drawing and painting Today, there are stalls set up like a small bazaar around the annex and here we can enjoy local art and you can even ask the, the artist to draw a picture of you. As we walk out of the annex of Central Market, we actually get to the corner which is the Kasturi Walk. This is a covered walkway just adjacent to the blue color building which is Central Market. Walking along this path, we can see many local business stalls selling food and drinks and souvenirs and clothes and fruits. Notice the big architecture items above which is the traditional kites or WAU w -A -U, in Malaysia. 
As we walk around to the front of Central Market, the signboard is a great place to take photos. This is the oldest market in Kuala Lumpur and now it's a tourist attraction for picking up souvenirs and handicrafts. Let's take a walk into Central Market. Here, this is a big area with many shops selling all forms of souvenir items, handicrafts, t-shirts and gifts. This is a must visit place for local and overseas tourists. As we end our exploration of Central Market, we can then walk outside and look towards the tall building as we walk towards the Jalan Tun Tang Cheng Lok. Along these roads, there are many attractions and wall murals and street art to take photos of as well as a lot of amazing food. So not far away is Jalan Petaling, Petaling Street, Chinatown. This is an amazing place to explore in the evening. Check out our other videos on the attractions around Chinatown. Just around the area also, we can see the blue color building which is the Merdeka 118 building. Currently, the second tallest building in the world behind the Puj Khalifa in Dubai. This is set to open sometime in 2023. So this is a short walk around the area of Dataran Merdeka and Masjid Jamik as we explore over 22 places.